Hello! Have you ever wondered why Debussy sounds like Debussy? Well, we're going to look at some new musical techniques that he used to get his unique sound. First of all, Debussy started using different scales than just the major or minor scale. He used scales that avoided any half steps, like scale degree 4 to scale degree 3, or the leading tone up to tonic. These are typically tendency tones and help in tonicizing the first scale degree. Let's look at this example from Voile, one of his piano preludes. Let's take a note count. Starting from the beginning, it looks like there's an E, G sharp, D, F sharp, C, and B flat. And if we list those in alphabetical order, starting with E, we get E, F sharp, G sharp, B flat, C, and D. Let's take a look at how the scale is constructed. From E to F sharp, a whole tone. F sharp to G sharp, another whole tone. G sharp to B flat, think inharmonically A sharp, another whole tone, then another, then another, and then another to get us back to E again. This is a great example of the whole tone scale. This was one of the easiest ways for Debussy to eliminate any half steps or tendency tones from his scales. Later in the same piece is another example of a different type of scale that avoids those half steps. Starting at this glissando figure, let's do a note count. There's an E flat, G flat, A flat, B flat, and D flat. And those are the only five notes from here onward. This is a pentatonic scale, only using five notes. And this specifically is the minor version, starting with a minor third, followed by two whole steps, another minor third, and another whole step to get us back to the starting note again. Like the whole tone scale, the pentatonic scale has a very distinctive sound. Getting rid of half steps was one method for avoiding a tonal center, but by using the seven different modes, Debussy was easily able to control color and pitch center as two separate entities. Let's take a look at them. There are three modes that can be thought of as variations of the major scale. Ionian has the same notes as a major scale. Mixolydian has the same notes but with a lowered seventh scale degree. And Lydian has a raised fourth scale degree. But there's more. There are four modes that can be thought of as variations of the minor scale. Aeolian has the same notes as a minor scale. Dorian has a raised sixth scale degree. Phrygian has a lowered second scale degree. And Locrian has a lowered second and fifth scale degree. Let's look at the opening of another piece by Debussy, the Sunken Cathedral. It looks like the pitch center is G, so a note count would be G, A, B, D, and E a G major pentatonic scale so far, but in the next measure, Debussy adds two notes, a C and an F, producing a G mixolydian scale. Shortly after this section, Debussy transitions to an E pitch center. Let's take a note count. E, G sharp, A sharp, B, C sharp, and D sharp. Even though the F sharp is missing, an E Lydian scale is strongly implied here. Let's listen. Another new technique that we've actually already seen in this video is called planing. In this technique, all voices move in parallel motion with identical voicing and spacing. This excerpt comes from later in the Sunken Cathedral. Notice how Debussy takes this first C major chord and moves it up and down, following the melody. This is an example of diatonic planing. Each chord is a triad, but sometimes it is major and sometimes it is minor, staying within the given mode, in this case C Ionian.
Later in the piece, Debussy takes the same concept of planing, but transposes the intervals exactly to get the same quality of chord each time, in this case, a major minor 7th. <laughs> In this way, WC used familiar sounds from tonality, like the dominant seventh and common pitch class collections, but stripped them of any tonal function and used them as sounds to color his compositions. <laughs> 